Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, time for a market outlook video. We're gonna look at the market this week. I know a lot of people aren't into trading anymore. I know a lot of, a lot of people are just ready for upgrade packs. They're ready for, oh, that's an undercut on Mbappe. Excuse me there. They're ready for prices to just continue to go down. They're ready for the end of the year of FIFA Ultimate Team. And um, so probably won't have too many more of these market outlook videos coming in the future. Um, but I want to do one this week because we are in the middle of ultimate team of the season. Even though the players aren't the best, not everybody is happy with the player selection. Um, we do have some of the best team of the season cards in packs right now. And I want to talk a little bit about what could continue to go on. There was a nice picture of Endon Bailey for a second. What could go on this week, uh, in the market for FIFA ultimate team with these cards being in packs and everything else we've obviously today i'm recording this on sunday night it's going to go up on monday we had the um rest of the world i don't even know what you call this sbc i still haven't done it yet but we have this the guarantee the first of the two guaranteed sbcs the rest of the world tots sbc came out today and that's the biggest question this week and that's the first thing i want to talk about starting with um we're going to focus on a couple things in this video the market going down we're going to talk about the guaranteed ultimate tots sbc and upgrade sbc so first off this guaranteed sbc this i've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things on what they think this the ultimate tots guaranteed sbc is going to look like in terms of what it's going to require and basically since you have all you have so many cards in the team that are over a million coins but they also kind of equaled it out with some of those lower rated cards I think you're going to see this SBC probably cost somewhere around 300, 200 to 300,000 coins from scratch. Maybe they'll make it even cheaper. Maybe they'll, you know, kick us in the nuts and make us pay 500k for this SBC, which I really hope they don't. But since there are some guys in this team that are like 100k, 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 I do think this SBC should probably be somewhere around the range of like 300,000 coins, maybe 400,000. A little bit of a coin suck, but who cares? People, EA has to know that people are not going to be into this game, you know, after this team this season like they were earlier in the year. This is like the last week of FIFA, basically. So hopefully this SBC is around 300,000 coins, and this is how I can see them doing it. Requiring a TOTS card, making the squad, um, move this over a little bit so you can see it better. Um, I think they're going to make the squad somewhere between an 86 and an 88 rated. It depends if they go high rating like 88 rated and they only require a TOTS card. Um, that is an interesting thing. They could require two TOTS cards. They could require a TOTS and an inform. They have kind of a lot of ways that they can go with this. But a lot of people have untradeable team of the season cards in their club. And with the team of the season rest of the world cards out right now, I mean, a lot of people have um, just TOTS cards just chilling. So as you're going to see here on my transfer list, apart from this Timo Werner that I'm trying to flip, I have a lot of gold cards because I think throughout the rest of this week, we're going to get some decent player SBCs. And also I think we're going to get, uh, you know, everybody's going to want to do the ultimate TOTS SBC. And since there aren't going to be the, the TOTS cards that you're going to get from this SBC, you're not going to like use one of those cards in the SBC. I know you can use a TOTS card, but everybody's going to do this SBC. There's going to be a lot of demand for it. And that's why I'm buying the high rated golds. That's why I think it's a good time to club stock. And obviously I've bought a few extras, but I want to talk about that here in just a second as well. Um, so the guaranteed SBC, I think it's going to be 87 rated. It's going to require a TOTS and an inform. And I think that's going to run most people about 300,000, 350,000 coins. So that's kind of my fearless forecast for that one. Um, we'll see how that turns out, but everybody's going to do it regardless of what it is. It's just the end of the year. People have their coins and people want a chance at packing some of the best players in tots. Now today we should be getting upgrade packs as well. On Monday, we should be getting upgrade packs. And if you're seeing this video beforehand and we haven't got them yet, I think one of the really easy ways you can go out and prepare for this is go out and just stock up on the rare golds. Just do like a club stock, uh, on the rare golds. I want to see what they're selling for right now. I want to see if they're up a little bit. But I'm, I'm pretty sure these 81 plus packs are going to come out again. It looks like nobody is expecting it. You can go through here and buy these rare golds for very cheap for basically every league, it looks like. I would just go through, stock your club with the rare golds, bid on them or bin them for 650, 700 coins. Fill up your club because I could really see EA re-releasing the same 
two upgrades that we have had for the past team of the seasons. I think they're going to release that same upgrade again. They're going to release all of them at the same time, though, because then they can cover all these leagues. They can throw the Serie A, SBC, upgrade SBC out, and you cover Ronaldo. Uh, you cover Koulibaly. And then down on the bench, you cover Quagliarella, Chiellini. You know, throw the, the Premier League 81 plus double guarantee out. You, you get Van Dijk. Um, you obviously have Bernardo Silva, Sterling, um, and Robertson as well. So. I think that's how they're going to do it this time. If they do something different, if they just put out like an 81 plus SBC for all the leagues, I'll be a little bit disappointed, I think. I would like the league specific ones. I really just hope they release the SBCs that we've been wanting all year. You know, the 25K pack upgrade SBC from each league. That would be that would be the dream um, for that there. But um, moving on next to, um, I want to talk about, talk about upgrade packs, talk about uh, player SBCs as another Thing that I want to talk about. Another reason why I've been doing a club stock and investing in some of these cards is if you look at the player SBCs that we've gotten so far during Ultimate Tots, we've gotten two. We've gotten Fakir as a Tots moments, so obviously he's from the League One, and we've gotten Riyad Mahrez flashback from the Premier League. So again, we've had a League One SBC and a Premier League SBC during the this uh, Ultimate Team uh, Ultimate Tots promo. I think they're going to put out the rest of the player SBCs, and then they're going to do three more. And I think there's going to be one from the Bundesliga, one from the Serie A, and one from La Liga. That would cover all of the leagues. I think they're going to do one SBC for each league that is a part of Ultimate Team of the Season. And that's why I invested. If you saw those clubs that are on my transfer list, or those cards, all of these cards on my transfer list are from one of those three leagues that hasn't gotten an SBC yet because I would I would be inclined to think that these cards would rise more than some of the other higher rateds if there are there some league specific or team specific requirements or even nationality requirements in those SBCs. So that's why you see a lot of these guys from La Liga, from Serie A, from um, Bundesliga because I do think those SBCs are going to come this week one SBC per league. That's just my feeling. It's just my feeling. I could be totally wrong. Uh, but that's why I invested in some of uh, in some of those cards. So that's one thing to look out for as well. Club stock time. I think it is a club stock time. And basically from here on out to the rest of the year, the best cards are out in the game. Yes, we're going to get some footies. Yes, there's going to be some stuff that is hyped up around those. But we're also going to be have the best cards are going to be out already in foot. So a lot of stuff is going to be SBC based. Footies is going to be really SBC based. If they do something, another promo over the summer. And I'll have some videos here in the next week or so talking about that. I do think they're going to do some stuff this summer with bringing stuff back into packs, kind of like best of how they've done multiple times this year. That's just my opinion on some of that stuff. So we'll take a look at that um, as well. Um, but that in tune leads me to talk about the market today because the market is absolutely dying after this weekend. And you can tell that people are ready for, like, look at this daily graph. It's hard to tell, but stuff has been going down a ton in the past couple of days, especially on the market for special cards. Some of these team of the season cards, I want to look at Tots Prem. Tots Prem, what kind of sell off did we have today? Aguero's down 200k. Ericsson's down a bunch. Obviously, the cards that are, were in packs for Ultimate Team of the Season, they're absolutely down a ton. A ton. Lacazette's down 200,000 coins. Even cards that aren't. This is what I talked about last week, and this is it's playing out exactly how I thought it would and how we talked about it last week. These cards that didn't even get to Ultimate Team this season, the Ultimate Tots cards are just getting packed and panic sold and sold off. You have Sun that was at 2.3, now he's at 2.01, and these Ultimate Tots cards are just kind of killing the market because people are waiting for that guaranteed SBC. And, I mean, look at Mbappe alone today has dropped like Seven six hundred thousand coins, three point six. He was four million coins, so he's dropped four hundred k today. And since Friday, he's dropped six hundred k when he came back into packs. So a lot of these cards have just tanked in price. And uh, I think I, I showed this in a video earlier, but the most impressive tanking so far, I think, on a percentage scale, has to be Sterling. I mean, look what he was at last sun last Saturday, one point two million coins. Now he's seven hundred and seventy thousand. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous drop for a card like that. Um, and it's going to continue, I think, for the rest of this week. I think a lot of stuff is going to be low until Tuesday, until that SBC comes out. And some of the stuff is going to hit its lowest on, on the sell-off on Sunday. That's why I'm watching some of these Team of the Year cards, because I want them for the team. 
But this is kind of like, you know, the market is still pretty inflated from all these team of the seasons. Um, a lot of coins are on the market still. So I do think there could be a, a bit of a rebound coming out of team of the season just a little bit. That's why I'm a little bit careful. I want to time this correctly. And I'm sure a lot of you guys maybe have a couple players that you want to pick up for your end game team. And that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pick up this Ronaldo, this Neymar, and this Mbappe for my end game team. And that'll be it for me. But there's probably a lot of people that are out there trying to, to do that this week as well. So I think before Tuesday is going to be your buy time on those cards. And basically, this is also just kind of the end of the year. It really is just the end of the year where you just kind of sit down and you look at your club and you look at the guys you have in your team. And you can kind of take a synopsis of your year. And this is maybe a time that you take a break from FIFA a little bit. I'm not going to be taking a break. I'm going to be still here making videos, talking about stuff. FIFA 20 is going to be hyped up through the month of July like crazy. There's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about, you know, opinions to share on what they release info-wise. So we'll be talking a lot about that. But in terms of yourself playing FIFA 19, I'm always a fan of the game. I'm sure they're going to do some content over the summer. But if you're somebody who gets burnt out by FIFA and you came back for team this season, take that break. Take that break over the summer. Watch some YouTube videos. You know, stay in tune with my channel and what we're talking about, of course, <laughs> to get the info, to hear what the foot accountant has to say. No, I'm just kidding. But it would be good to probably stay in tune with that. But you can take a break from playing the game because this has been a stressful year of FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, it's been... Uh, the year of gameplay has been absolutely ridiculous and we'll get into all that kind of stuff kind of overview of FIFA 19 later as well um, but back on track for the rest of this week on the market you're going to see prices going down until Tuesday I believe then they'll start to maybe rise back up a little bit not too much just the OP players maybe some TOTS cards that uh, link or that you know somebody might get a TOTS pull you know maybe Cancelo will rise a bit this week because he is not an ultimate TOTS I think he's actually been moving a lot already because people are going to get Ronaldo out of that out of that SBC. He's 621k. And obviously, if you get Ronaldo, this is a very easy way. Yeah, look at this. He went down to 608 and now he's back up to 654, down to 621. So that's something like this. Links to some of these Ultimate Tots cards. Where'd they go? Links to some of these Ultimate Tots cards are probably going to be a good shout as well if you want to invest in some stuff. But the best way to make coins right now is definitely through SBCs. The gold cards are low. They're going to be continually required. And this is probably the lowest the gold cards are going to get for the rest of the year. Because from here on out, people are just going to complete Icon SBCs and do other SBCs. And we're not going to have lightning rounds for a long time. So it would be a, probably a decent shout. Even if you're somebody who wants to complete an Icon SBC in the next two or three weeks as FIFA is slowing down. Maybe go through here, look at some cheapest players by rating, and do a big time club stock on everything at 83 all the way up to 89 and 90 just to get those cards in your club and to be ready to do Icon SBCs for cheaper because we're not going to have any supply for those high rated golds um, for a couple weeks, that's for sure. So do a club stock, get some of those high rated golds in your club, and enjoy upgrade packs this week. Hopefully, they surprise us and maybe do something else new. And then, uh, obviously, with the player SBCs, hopefully they're big, hopefully they're fun, and hopefully they, they switch it up. Um, this week, Thursday, is also going to be an interesting point. That's why I said make sure you get your stuff early in the week. If you have players that you want to buy, weekend league rewards this weekend are going to be insane because they're going to have the team of the season cards they are going to be in rewards. And if you look at this team again, you mean you hit any of the top five guys, you're definitely over a million coins. So this is going to be comparable to Premier League TOTS in terms of hitting one of the top guys is going to get you a lot of coins this week from weekend league rewards so obviously be careful for that that's why if you're looking to buy tots players that aren't in ultimate tots if you're looking to buy team of the years i think your buy time on a lot of those cards is going to be before before thursday for sure as we watch a lot of prices fall right now and um, there's going to be a huge influx of coins at the end of this week um, so that's one thing to uh, to keep in mind as well. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, smack a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions in terms of trading, investing, um, or even a question with your squad. I'd love to help out with those. And of course, touch my, check my Twitch link in the description. I am now streaming live on Twitch um, a lot more often. So make sure to catch me there. Follow me on there and you can catch me when I do go live. But if you enjoyed the video, bros, again, smash a thumbs up. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.